This month's video is needling for a Veruca, but actually the main effort is, is to show you what I call a cheat technique, a cheat technique of doing a local anaesthetic field block to get a, a difficult area to anaesthetise. The patient in question has got a Veruca on the plantar lateral aspect of the heel. In theory, we could do a block at the tibial nerve and the sural nerve, but from experience, I can tell you that that plantar lateral aspect of the skin can be quite difficult to anaesthetise where you've got the crossover from branches of the medial calcaneal nerve, sometimes the inferior calcaneal nerve, and then aspects of the sural nerve. So we're going to do a field block somewhat distally. Doing a direct block through the plantar skin is really quite painful. So one of my cheat techniques is to come in from the medial or dorsal or lateral aspects of the foot to do a plantar infiltration um, to, the, to the lesion in question, but without actually puncturing the plantar skin. And in this instance, we're going to use Marcane with adrenaline. So nobody knows who you are. Okay. So Jan, who I've never met before, apart from the previous two years I've been seeing you. So we've done various things for Jan over the time. Now she's an interesting lady with history of history of bone cancer to your right leg. And ever since then you developed some verrucas. So we wonder whether you've been a bit immunocompromised. Verrucas both sides, but painful underneath this left heel. So we're going to do some needling. We've talked about needling before on other videos. And it's an awkward area to inject this. So in terms of location, we'd have a little bit of um, medial calcaneal nerve and inferior calcaneal nerve innervating this area. A little bit of lateral calcaneal nerve, you won't see that in all the textbooks. It's an awkward area to inject. So the, what actually works best for these areas is a direct infiltration cheat. So coming in from the side, but coming directly on top of it rather than through the plantar skin. We're going to use um, Marcane with adrenaline to get some vasodilation, so I'll probably stop the video in a sec, prep the local anaesthetic, and we're going to come in from the side. But while I'm prepping the local anaesthetic, we'll do some skin prep. And we're going to use, you've seen me use before, the Chlora preps. We like these. So a little click gets it going. So Jan, just a bit of skin prep, just a bit of alcohol to make the skin nice and clean. And then while that dries, I'm just going to prep some local anaesthetic. Okay, so Jan, there's going to be a little bit of a scratch. Okay, three, two, one. That wasn't so bad, was it? No. Now, I'm just, there's going to be a little sting as the local anaesthetic goes in. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Ooh, she's pulling her face. You're underestimating just a little sting. Well, do you know, Jan, there's only one type of patient that mustn't feel any pain. Do you know what type that is? The dead one. No, the private patients. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but I'm not really. So can you see the vasodilation of the skin? So that's going to make mean when we do the needling, she's not going to get too much claret. Three, two, one, Jan, well done. So, so seriously, any sharpness there? No. Okay. I'm still stinging from the injection. And then we do this for about a minute or two. And what I'm trying to do is pop as many of these Veruca cells as possible and give the immune system a little bit of a boost and that's kind of how it works does it put something into the pencil or something um well but effectively what i'm doing is i'm trying to pop some of the these the veruca infected skin cells and push those cells below the dermoepidermal junction so that the body gets a chance to have a meeting with the veruca viruses because at the moment the veruca is in the skin and the body is blissfully unaware that the Veruca is there. So I'm just trying to arrange a meeting. It's kind of like um, arranging a, a date. So when this is finished, we'll put a dressing on for you, Jan. Mm -hmm. And it could be a little bit sore for a day or two. Normally not so bad. And it takes, I think it takes a couple of months to see the effects because it takes a while for the immune system to 
get the message and do something about it. And we're trying to make, as my old friend Belinda would say, who taught me this technique, a beefy red wound. We're trying to make that quite macerated and soggy. And we're trying to pop as many Veruca cells as possible. It takes a minute. Questions, Jan? In the, I suppose it's in the old days that you used to have it frozen. Yeah, so we'd still do that. It's painful, it's not that effective, but some people still do to freeze them out. Um, the secret with the freezing is to use a really cold liquid nitrogen. Uh, most of the stuff that's on the market doesn't get cold enough. And the idea is you, you create a big um, ice frost crystal blister and then the Veruca comes out with the blister. I used to do it back in my youth. Didn't really find it was that good for me, but was quite painful. So I kind of went off it. And when you finish doing that and you obviously put a dressing on, how yeah. long will the dressing need to stay on? Oh, just, just till tomorrow. It's a very simple wound. It's only like a kind of a tattoo wound, really. It's just it's just little holes. Um, you'll have a bit of a scab, and we'll talk about what to do with a scab. But it takes a couple of months to see an effect. So we're trying to pop as many of those cells as possible. And really, that's it done. So I'm going to put a fancy dressing on that now. As you can see, a little bit of claret, but really not too much because of the adrenaline. And I'll put a dressing on that now. Here's the dressing applied. Nothing too complicated. It's a double layer. Should be on light duties for the rest of the day. Painkillers PRN, but avoiding NSAIDs because we want to try and stimulate an immune reaction. Typically, I see the patients back at one week for a scab removal and two months for a check. But the main effort of this video was to show you that field anaesthesia but through a cheat technique without doing a painful plantar injection. Thanks very much.